What's up guys, Charlie here from techinform.us. Today we're going to be talking about free word processing. As far as free word processing, processing applications go, I've found that you mainly have three choices. Um, as you can see on my desktop, I have them right here. They are um, LibreOffice, OpenOffice, and NeoOffice. Um, these are free word, word processing applications, as you can see right here. Um, they are free. I will have the download link for LibreOffice in the description because I'm going to be going over them one at a time. So, um, if you don't want to pay for word processing, um, if you don't want to pay for the iWork suite for pages, keynote, or numbers, um, these do a phenomenal job. Obviously, they're not going to be as well as applications that are paid, but um, I still find them very useful. Uh, as I said before, today we're going to be looking at some LibreOffice. You're going to go ahead and double click it. I believe this is about a 500 megabyte file. So as you can see, it will open here. It will say LibreOffice 3, the document foundation. Okay, It does take a while to load, unfortunately. Okay, so like pages, you it will come up here and it will have basically a selection of what you want to create. If you want to create a text document, spreadsheet, presentation, you can create a drawing database or formula. So you can see you have the templates option. Go ahead and click that. And then here is just a more advanced way for you to choose your templates. Um, and obviously here you have your open tab if you want to open document. You can find one. So I'm just going to be creating a text document. I'm going to go ahead and click that. I might add this app. This app is pretty slow. Um, but it still works very well. So apparently, there we go, since worked. Um, so here's our document. This is at 100%. Down here, you have your zoom but basically slider. Um, you can slide the document or you can get, get it back to 100%. Um, up here at the top, you have your new, open, save, all the normal things. Um, then you have your apply, then you have your style. Uh, you have your fonts. It does come with a pretty wide variety of fonts, I'm, I think. Um, all these. All those. Font size. You can go up to 96, bigger than normal. You have your bold, italic, and underlined buttons. You have your um, left, centered, right, or um, justified. You have your numbering, all your numberings. You have your font color. You have your highlighting. You have your fill text. Um, so as far as basic word processing goes, um, I definitely do recommend LibreOffice. Um, how do I say um a lot of my videos? Sorry about that. So I definitely recommend this. The link will be in the description. I'm just going to go ahead and open up pages so I can show you the difference between a paid word processing and non-paid. Um, this does take a while to open because it's not cached. Okay, so as you can see with you know with pages, we're obviously going to have a much much wider variety of templates that we can choose from. So I'm going to do a blank one. So let it load. As you can see, it's a little more advanced. Um, definitely have more options. It runs much better. Um, so I definitely recommend LibreOffice. It's a somewhat quick application, and um, I definitely recommend it. So a uh, link for that will be in the description. Download it if you like. If you don't want, if you want to see what you know these other two are, stick around for tomorrow's video before you download this. So. Uh, make sure to check out the website I write for at www.techinform.us. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash abnercus, and I will talk to you guys with your, in the next video I make, which will be the review of openoffice.org application. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.